Researchers at the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington have been working on using sound waves to manipulate objects in the body. We are trying to move stones within um, the kidney and help patients move uh, stones from the ureter out into the bladder so they can pass it without causing any uh, pain or discomfort or having them to go under surgery. I, I think this work is, is, is grabbing real objects, uh, stones that are millimeters, almost centimeters in size, in, in the body uh, and, and picking them up and moving them in a controlled pattern. And, and this has a true practical application. I, I hope it will be more like playing video games. You go to the doctor with a kidney stone and uh, he has the system. You sit down, the doctor has a joystick. He sees the stone with imaging and you can move it with a little joystick that will just guide it in the direction that you want it. Their research is part funded by NASA, who have long been concerned about astronauts developing kidney stones in space. The bones are demineralizing in space and they're dumping those ions, calcium in particular, into the kidney. There's a, a good chance that stones could form. It's been a very highly ranked risk of space flight. Uh, NASA has integrated our technology into their ultrasound system that will fly and in that way they downgraded that risk to an acceptable level for space flight. And it's not just kidney stones in medicine these acoustic forceps could be used for. We're looking into moving any fragments in the body. Um, we can also move and guide surgical instruments. So the acoustics can come in, grab the uh, the medical device and line it up in the direction they want it. Well, another possible application, it, it's common to swallow a camera and a pill and then uh, wait for that to pass through the body and uh, it's transmitting its video that's recorded. Uh, so we could, we could do that in real time, say stop and that looks like a curious area. Let's back up, let's rotate the camera a little bit and not just rely on this uh, natural process over, over a couple hours of, of transmitting through the, the body.